Hello. Yeah. Okay. Now, in this class, I want to discuss about the exception handling. Exception. Exception means some problem or some error. Exception means some error. So, the flow of execution of instructions can be stopped due to mishandling of the variables or mishandling of the uh, instructions. I repeat, the not smoothly uh, execution process can be obstructed, obstructed by the mishandling of the variables. Once a problem called as an exception created, then from subsequent instructions will not execute. Then your process will stop where you are problem. Where there is a problem, then that should be stopped the execution. Okay, this process is called as a exception. Exception stands for smooth to, to stop the smooth execution of the normal program. To stop the smooth execution of the normal program. Okay, by the mishandling of the instructions or variables or etc. Once that is called as an exception. Once exception takes place, then the process will not continue to execute the remaining instructions and remaining program. Then you will get error. You will get error. Suppose if your program is file and score, no problem. So you can easily modify. Suppose your program is a one lakh coding. If the one lakh coding that suppose if you are getting the problem at a hundred lines. Then what happens? One lakh coding will be stopped and your program will be not executed and you will get some error. Okay. So at that situation, what the steps to be taken? Then you can recall. There are two steps. One is you can recollect and recheck the each and every line of the program. Then you will find out. But second thing is that in Java, there is a special provision is there that whenever an uh, exception takes place, then that you can handling that exception you can handling that ex exception and that problem can be avoided and the control goes to remaining instructions execution that means by exception handling the remaining instruction should be executed only where the problem is there that can be not executed then you should specify there is a problem here that is called as a exception handling. Suppose 10 lines programs are there. Statement 1, statement 2, statement 3, statement 5, statement 10. Suppose there is a statement 4 is problem. So statement 4 problem is called exception. But if the 4 is problem, then 5 to 10 instructions are not executed if there is a no handling. Suppose you are using the handling, only the 4 statement can be avoided and remaining all the instructions are executed. Remaining all the instructions are executed. That is called as a exception handling. That is called as a exception handling. Okay, so please see this. So the exception handling in Java is one of the powerful mechanisms to handle the runtime error so that normal flow of the application can be maintained. So that means that exception cannot create a problem for the execution of the next two instructions. Okay. Right. So first thing, finding the exception. Second thing, avoiding handling that exception. That is avoiding the instruction uh, exception. And third one, execute the remaining instructions. Execute the remaining instruction. So that means the program running is not stopped. The program running is not stopped. So then it will give the output with the, some exception, the, some problem. Where is the problem is there? It should be mentioned. That is called as a exception handling. So, is an event that disrupt the, what is the exception? Disrupt the normal flow of the program. Okay, right. Next. So, that's why I'm saying that in previous, there is a statement 1, 2, statement 9 are there. Suppose 5 statement is wrong. Then, if you are not handling the exception, then uh, from 5 onwards, it is not executed. Suppose if you are uh, handling the exception, then 
one, two, three, four, and six to ten statements are executed. Okay, so this is called as a. So the core advantage of exception handling is to maintain the normal flow of the application. Normal flow of the application. Okay. All right. Next one. Okay. Way. This is called as a. How to handle the exception? How many types are there? The first one is called as a throwable class. This is called as a throwable class. Okay. In the throwable class, there are two types of problems are there. One is called as a exception. Second one is called as a error. Exception error. What is the exception? What are the different types of exceptions are there? I O exception. That means input output exception, SQL exception, and next one, class not found the exception. And that means these are all called as a exception. And next one is called as a runtime exception. So that means where the problems are facing. One is I O exception. Second one is called as a SQL exception. Third one is called as a class not found exception. And next one, runtime. Simply says that exception means problem. Where is the problem? I O problem. I O exception. Class not found. That is a class not found ex exception. Then runtime. Runtime. How many types are there? Arithmetic exception, null pointer exception, number format exception, index out of bounded exception. What is that? Arithmetic exception. Suppose something divided by zero. Something divided by zero. It is a problem. Then what is the name of the exception? Arithmetic exception. Null pointer exception. So pointer is set to zero. Pointer is set to zero. If the pointer is set to zero, then that is called as a null pointer exception. Number format exception. You are using the string, but you are considered as a that as a integer value. So one twenty three is a string. I repeat, one twenty three is a string. Okay, but you should mention as a string. 123, but you are understanding that 123 is a number. Then you want to addition, subtraction, or arithmetic operations are performed. Then what is the basic? It is a string. What is a real? What is the real? It's a string. What is your uh, present one? You are understanding that is a number. So there is a mismatch. So that is called a number format exception. Index out bind exception. Index out stands for suppose you are you are having the array. The array having the hundred elements. Okay, suppose if you are accepting the 200 uh, element, if uh, if you want to find out the 200 element, then there is a problem because the length is equal to 100. But you want to find out 200 element, so this is a problem that is called as the indexed bound exception. Okay, All right. Next is the okay. Next is the error. So where is the error? One thing stack overflow. Suppose if the memory is full, but then what happens? It will give some message. It will give some message. Next, to virtual machine error, uh, out of memory error. So that means suppose sometimes your cache memory will be full, and sometimes your total cloud memory will be full. Then you will get some problem. So that is called error. Then it will give some message. It will give some message. Okay, this is called as a throwable. So now. Again, there are two types are there. Right. Types of Java exceptions. What are the types of Java? Exceptions? All our exceptions start from throwable. So this is called as a all are start from throwable. Okay, so what are the types of exceptions are there? So please see the types of Java exception. number one checked exceptions checked. So that means you can check there is a problem. Okay, that is called as a checker in the class which is directly inherent global class except runtime except. Uh, that means except the runtime. So please see this. Yeah. So this is called as a runtime exception and the other. Without this, these two are called as a, these two are called as a checked exception. 
let us take IQ, IO exception, SQL exception, class not found, this is called as a checked exception. And runtime and error is called as a unchecked exceptions. Unchecked exception. So simply say that these three is called as a checked exception and runtime exception and error is called as a unchecked exceptions. Okay, and error. So error is irrecoverable. So out of memory or what you know. This is called the three types of there. Okay, right. Next. I repeat. So now what is the exception? Exception means a problem. Exception means a problem. Problem may be created at IO devices. Problem may be created with mishandling. Problem may be created with the uh, mis uh, in, uh, in, uh, mismatching, mis misutilization of the instructions. So, to avoid this, we can use the exception handling keywords are there. So, let us take what are the keywords. This is called an exception handling. So, this I am saying the checker exception and checker exception and the other. Okay. Checker exception stands for uh, this is called the yeah, IO SQL class not form. Next, unchecked exception stands for, this is called as a uh, runtime, exception is called as a unchecked. And next one, okay, and next one, yes, sir. okay, next. What are the Java exception keywords? Java exception keywords. Okay, I repeat, what is exception? Problem. What is exception handling? To remove the exception. To remove the exception. Okay. Exception is a problem. To remove the problem is called as an exception handling. Exception handling. So let us take what are the keywords used in the exception handling. The first one, key. This is the try. Try keyword specify a problem. Try keyword specify a problem. That's why it is called as a block where we should place exception code okay where the where should place the exception so if you are using the only try that is not a solution the next solution is what the steps what is the exception handling that means you can use catch you use the catch so that is called as a handling the exception so that's why if you want to use the try a keyword as exception then it can specify only the problem and next one what it does exception handling can be used that is called the catch so you should use the combination try and catch you should use the combination of try block and catch block or try block try block and finally block so that means single try block cannot handle single catch block cannot handle or uh, that means any single keywords try catch finally throw and close cannot handle okay you should use the combination you should use the combination so what are the combination so first one try and catch and try and finally try and throw and try and throws it's the combination so what is the try try keyword specify there is a problem that is called exception where is the exception next catch is what is the exception handling finally so execute the important code of the program finally can execute the important code of the program throw means that exception should be thrown but it cannot specify the uh, any messages or anything it just throw that means it cannot execute it completely remove but it cannot give any uh, messages throws stands for it can give the warning. Throws stands for it will give the warning. There is a uh, exception is there, but it cannot throws. It cannot throws. Okay. So try specify the problem in the block. Catch can exception handling. Finally execute the important code. Next throw can remove the. Okay. Can throw the exception. So that means you are not specified. It can be completely removed 
and it cannot specify any key messages. Throws stands for it can give the warning that from next there is a exception is there, but it cannot remove. Okay, all right. It specifies that there may be occur an exception in the method. Right. Okay, so this is the keywords. Next. <clears throat> Next, common scenarios of the Java exception. That means where are the problems occur? Where are the problems occur? What are the different types of problems occurred in the program? That is called as X. Simply problem exception. First one, arithmetic exception occurs. Arithmetic exception occurs. That means the first fundamental exception is arithmetic is divided by zero then it is entered into the infinite loop that is called a that exception created by the arithmetic mishandling divided by zero is not accepted so that is called as a arithmetic exception already mentioned that null pointer so null pointer specifies that you should uh, allocate a pointer value as zero zero pointer cannot be allocated okay Next is number format exceptions. Already says that 123 you are de uh, declared as a string, but you are utilized as a number. That is a problem. Next is array index outbound. So if you are accepting the data outside the array, it is not possible. This is a common scenario in Java exception. So that's why it is called as a accept, uh, expected or the checked uh, exception. Checked exceptions. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what is the internal working of the? Uh, in this class, I want to discuss about the try-catch combinations. Try-catch combination. So, what is the procedure? How to try-catch can be executed? Let us take the first one. Data is equal to ten by ten. This is the problem. What is the problem? This is the arithmetic problem. So an object of exception class is thrown. So exception object. What is the exception object? Arithmetic. Whether ex uh, exception is a handle or not? No. Then it will give the error. What is the error? The runtime error will give print out the exception description. Where is the problem? Arithmetic. So that's why it will print the arithmetic uh, uh, arithmetic error. Second one, print the stack trace. Where is the problem? Next one, terminate the problem. So that means finding the problem, finding the problem, and it will give the error. And it will give the error, and where is the problem? It will be given. So who can perform that? This is the JVM. Okay, this can be you. If you are not handling the exception, if you are not handling the exception, it will give the problem. Okay, right. Next, suppose if the accept. Uh, Handle is accepted, that is the exception handling is taken, then rest of the code is executed. Rest of the code is executed except the uh, exception. Okay, so this is the problem. So check the exception object. So what are the exception objects are there? There are different types are there. Um, arithmetic exception, IO exception. Uh, this other so that is the exception object so then it can check whether handling the exception or not no then jvm can directly print the error message vary the message and it can be stop the execution if the exception handling is takes place then what happens rest of the code should be executed now so now we are going to discuss about the some problems uh, that is the program regarding to the exception handling so just now i can stop the sharing okay
This is the try catch. <coughs> So let us take this is called as a in the try catch. Try catch is a and try is a exception. Catch is a exception handle. Okay, right. So let us take. So this is the syntax. This is the syntax. So code that may throw the exception and this is called the exception name. This is called exception class name. And this is called as a final. So you can use the try catch or you can use the try final. So at the present, I want to discuss about the try catch. Right. First, two, what are the suppose here in this program, there is no exception handling, but there is an exception. There is an exception. See this? This is the uh, class name. And this is the main method, and here integer data is equal to 50 by 0. So 50 by 0 is a wrong execution. So then uh, where the problem creates, the problem creates due to the arithmetic. Okay, but now suppose normally once it is executed, then the next instruction should be executed. But now where is the problem? So this is the problem. Once it is created a problem, then the rest of the instruction cannot be executed. So now what happens in the previous there is a one block diagram is there so whether exception handling or not if no jvm can create a uh, send a message and vary the problem and next one it can stop the execution if there is a handling is takes place then it will give the uh, execute the rest of the program so can see here what happened there is no handling of the exception so then check what is the output. So you can check yourself by practical. Okay, so can you please tell me here there is a exception handling? No. If there is no, then what happens? You will just get the uh, a problem. So let us take, yeah, okay, I want to do this. So let us check. <coughs> so can you please see this? Uh, this is called as a uh, exception uh, java lang this is the name of the so this is the class name so package and sub package and class name automatic exception you know what is the where it is problem by divided by zero okay then there is no output there is no output let us take what is the line line number five so this is called line number five okay so this is called the try catch example so this is called the line number Okay, now is it clear? Now, without handling the exception, then what happened? There is no output. What is your expecting output? A rest of the code, but it is not executed because of the, there is an exception. So, you are not using exception handling. So, the rest of the code is not executed. Next, what happens? Suppose if you are how to solve this, you can use the exception handling. <coughs> All right. Let us take this is called as a uh, class name and this is the method. Uh, this is the main method. Within the main method, what is the problem? So I always say that try keyword can specify the uh, exception. So what is the exception? Integer data is equal to 50 by 0. So that means where is the problem? Arithmetic exception. So now suppose if the arithmetic exception, what is the solution? The solution will give. This is called the catch. That is uh, here the exception is handling. Once it is exception handling, then you are specifying the clearly. So that means the error message can be de 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 given by the either JVM or by user or by catch or by catch. So that's why the catch can specify arithmetic exception. So then system dot out dot print e. So what is the e? What is the E? This is the E. What is the E? Arithmetic exception. So then it will give the arithmetic exception. And next one. So once it is arithmetic exception, then it cannot stop the execution of program. Then it can continue the next instruction execution also. So then the, it will print the rest of the code. So in previous, you are not using the exception handling. You are getting the output. You are not getting the output. But here you are getting the output. Can you please check that? Yeah. 
So see this Java dot lang dot automatic exception because this is the creation of, uh, exception and the exception because of by zero because of that by zero. Okay, then it is not stop the continuation of the execution. Then it is continues the execution. Then you will get out of the rest of the code. This is called as a rest of the code. You are getting the rest of the code. Clear? All right. So without exception, with exception, what is the difference? Okay. Now, let us go for another one. <coughs> Suppose, see this problem. So this is the program. So let us take So this is the exception. Okay. Now let us take Suppose What you are thinking that Suppose if the problem is in the tray if the problem is in a try, then it is not executed, then catch will be uh, exception handling, then you will get the output. Suppose the output is also included in the try. The output is also included in the try. Okay. Once an exception is created, once an exception is created, then here you want to get output. The this is not also executed. This is not also executed. Why? Because this is the output. But the output is present in the problem. So after the problem, this is called the exception. After the exception, the output is also included in the track. Included in the track. Then you, you won't get. So check the value. So let us take check that value. Okay, check that value. Because, because it is except uh, handling is accepted. Okay, it uh, exception handling is takes place. But what happens? The output is in after the exception. That means within the try block. Within the try block. So what happens? Suppose if this is a problem, then it can be thrown out. Then what is the next of the uh, catch that will be executed? But now there is no execution here. There is no output here. So okay, the, there is no next instruction here. Even though this can be handling here because this is created in the try this is created in the track output lines is also created in the track so now what happens once there is a problem then it is directly go to exception then it is go to the next instruction what is the next instruction this is the next instruction but this is not an next instruction so it will give only the exception value but not the output why because the output statement is included in the track that's a problem next one so there are different types are there can you please see the problem suppose in previous this is the problem created by the arithmetic so please check here you are writing the catch arithmetic exception Okay, arithmetic exception, and you can print the arithmetic exception value by using system dot out dot print e. Okay, suppose if I am not using this arithmetic, okay, this arithmetic, then what happens? So can it execute it or not? Yes, it is executed. Why? This is the catch. This is the try, and this is the catch. So this is called as a exception handling and so it can stop the uh, exception and it can execute the rest of the code. So that's why you will get the output. So please check. But it cannot specify what is the 
type of the uh, exception. So please, because in previous you were mentioned the arithmetic expect exception, but here you are not mentioned. So then check the output. No, it is already given. So that means you are not supposed to give. So arithmetic or IO exception, you are not supposed to give. So it will give the error by the JVM. So it will give the error by the JVM. So here in previous you are mentioning that arithmetic exception. Okay, let us take, I want to change this. So this catch can be written in a simple manner like this. Let us take. It's a simple statement. So try is also written like this uh, because uh, it is a lengthy process. So instead of that, you can make it as easy, uh, code as simple as possible. Okay. <clears throat> so here I want to delete this. Control X and here I can paste Control V. Sorry, Control V. Okay, so I want to delete this, no problem. Because I already know that that's why the initial stage you will mention, but not right now. Okay, so I want to delete this also. So why should we waste the time? So you can make it practice just like this. Okay, now catch. Catch. Okay, then it is a simple manner. It is a simple manner, it should be executed, no problem. Okay, right. So then it is better to write like this. Uh, it is a coding technique, then you can easily understand. So this, this method, these the two brackets for this method and these two brackets can be for the class. Okay, now I want to execute this. What happens? Okay, edition five, not problem. Okay, I can remove this one. No, no. Let us close this problem. Okay, and we test it out. And run this problem. Okay, delete. And next one. And next one. Okay, now execute. Yeah, so let us take. So here you are uh, giving the exception. Okay, but JVM can find out the exception type. Then divided by zero. And next one, it is wrong, and this is the rest of the code. Okay, suppose you don't want to print this value. Let us take. You don't want to print this value. You can just uh, it should be closed. Yes. It is not necessary to type. Okay, then check what happens. You will not get the error. So that means the other type should not be printing out. The other type should not be printing out. Okay. All right. Is it clear? No. So let us take this is a one up. Next one, what happened? What are the different types of catch are there? So that's I'm saying it. Uh, here, here, you will get it is not output. Okay. 
So let us take this is called as a, uh, it is an exception e, and you want to get the this value. Okay. So what is exception? Exception in print cannot be divided by zero. So this is the exception. Okay. And this is the this is the exception, and this is the exception handling. So where are the different types of uses here? So next one, let us take here. Here what happened? You can space with that to resolve the exception in a catch block. Suppose i is equal to 50, j is equal to 0, and i by j. So i is equal to 50, j is equal to 0, that is the exception creates. Okay. But what is exception? System dot of print ln i by j plus 2. So that means if j is equal to 0, there is a problem. Then what is the solution? So you want to choose any solution here. You want to choose any solution here. So once j plus 2, j is equal to 0, j plus 2 stands for 2. So 50 by 2, you will get the answer 2. Here, these programs will specify what are the different ways of exceptions handling. That's the 25. So let us take i is equal to 50, j is equal to 0. So then what happens? Uh, a try. So if you try, there is a problem. In normally, there is a problem, but you will give the solution. You will give the solution. So let us take this is called as a solution. So print ln i j plus 2. So that means you can give the solution as a printable message, or you can print the other message, or you will give the solution also. Okay, next one. You will give some problem. Next one. Okay, can you please tell me? Normally, what is the try? Try is a exception. What is the catch? Exception handling. If the exception handling is also a exception, then what happens? You will not get, you will get some error. So, then the JVM can provide an error message. Let me, you are not getting the rest of the code. So see this exception in thread main in Java that exception by zero. Let to try catch example seven main catch class example. This is the problem. So that is there is a problem in the seven and there is a problem in fourteen. Why? Because try and catch both are exceptions. Normally try is exception and catch is an exception solution. Okay, this is another condition. This is another example. Okay. Uh, let us take what happens. Suppose this is the arithmetic exception, but you are saying that array index out box. So actually this is the arithmetic exception, but this is the exception is another one. Then what happens? So why you are not getting execution? Uh, you have wondered, sir, you, you are saying that uh, exception is, handling is created, but why should not be executed? Because there is a mismatch. There is a mismatch. Here, what is the array index outbound? But what is the array? What is the problem? Problem because of the arithmetic. But what you are getting there because of the error. So there is a mismatch. So then it is not executed output. The next one. Let us take this is the outbound. So, what is the size of the array? 1, 2, 3. So, let us 0, 1, 2, 3. That is length is equal to 4. Length means number of elements is there. But you want to print out array of 10. Array of 10. So, then length is equal to 4. You are expecting the 10th element. So, that is a problem. So, outbound. So, then what is the corresponding that? Array index outbound exception. E. Suppose if you are removing this, then you will get the output also. Okay, let's check. So, in the normal point of view, if you are understanding the this problem, then it is not supposed to mention each and every time. P C H caps. Right. So then, what is output? D 
that is expected yeah okay okay so where is the problem so my plan java 10 catch exception e okay i can close this i want to retest one more time okay Okay. All right. So I want to try this problem. No problem. See this, even though you are not mentioned the uh, exception type, then JVM can print out that. So, actually, this is the outbound, okay, as an index outbound exception. Okay, so it can specify the message and it can execute the rest of the thing. So, please simply say that. So, try and catch method, try can specify the ex uh, exception catch can provide the exception handling exception handling can execute the rest of the instructions rest of the instructions okay all right so this is a some idea about the catch and trick so next i want to discuss about the another one so here i want to say a multiple block so after explaining this i want to close this one multiple times for up to now one try and one catch is there suppose if i am using more than one catch then what happens this is the problem so let us take <coughs> so this is the try so new integer of five so a of five is equal to then that means you are adding some five, fifth element that fifth element is equal to 30 by zero 30 by 0 is arithmetic exception problem is there. So now what is the normally if you are using one catch then you are mentioning this. Okay, but here there are more number of catches are there. More number of catches are there. So what is the beauty is that according to this, according to this exception, it can be selected, it can be selected a specific catch. It can be a specific catch. So normally what you are expecting is the automatic, then you want to get some problem. Okay, so now it is matching. Suppose if it is not matching, then what happens? It should go for the next catch. So let us see what happens output. So here see the automatic exception error. So Suppose in the first point of it is arithmetic, which is a matching, then you will get the output and it can throw the exception and uh, it will give the execution, the remaining rest of the program. Okay, suppose let us take the next program is there. Yeah, so let us take this is called as a five elements, but you are expecting 10th element. So, what is exception? Exception is not belongs to arithmetic, exception belongs to the uh, out of the array so array index output so that means as per rule first it can be executed but not what happens according to the exception the output of the catch can be selected even though if more number of catches are there a specific catch should be selected so then test it so that means Array index of so what is the immediate one? You are giving arithmetic exception, but what is the exception? Exception because of the array. So then it is go for the this one. Okay. So if you can observe the next uh, program, you will also get the some idea. Huh. Let us take. So let us take 
here <coughs> this is the array this is the array and you are sending a array as a exception here so the what is the output what is the output okay so in this example try box and two exceptions what is the try exception one is the array exception and next one is the integer exception okay so let us take this is called as a arithmetic exception and this is called as a array exception then what happens so at a time only one exception is there so suppose uh, all the exception first you are finding the one exception then there is a single one if there is a single exception there is a single uh, exception handling single exception single exception handling but here what happened there are two exceptions are there there are two exceptions are there which come first that exception should be uh, handled by the exception handling and the rest of the thing is not be executed so why because one exception one exception handling okay let us take so see this so this is the first exception because of the arithmetic what is this this is the second exception that is called as a uh, array outbound value so what is the output you are expect so that means arithmetic exception is created and next one rest of the code will be printing out yeah this is called arithmetic exception but you are saying that sir i have the two exceptions but i have the two exception so one exception one cause okay one exception one handling then it can throw that and remaining uh, rest of the instruction should be executed okay that's it for today thank you and if you have any doubt so please uh, send your queries to my personal whatsapp number thank you